Uh, the gentle lady from Kansas, Ms. Davids, Chairwoman Subcommittee on Economic Growth, Tax and Capital Access. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairwoman. Um, and thank you, Administrator Guzman, for joining us here today to talk about our uh, fiscal year 23 SBA budget proposal. Uh, the SBA is requesting $4 million for uh, the manufacturing hub proposal, which is a, a, new, a new initiative to address uh, supply chain deficiencies that uh, have been uh, both exacerbated and, and made more visible during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm really interested to hear more about this effort um, as expanding and strengthening our small business manufacturing bases. Uh, it's going to be incredibly important as part of our diversification uh, of and building up of our supply chains. Um, that's something I've been particularly focused on. And I'm, I'm Actually, I'm very fortunate to uh, have been named a conferee alongside uh, Chairwoman Velasquez um, as we look at the supply chain and manufacturing legislation uh, that, we're, that we're hoping is going to actually address some of this stuff. Uh, I'm curious if you could um, elaborate a bit on the scope of the manufacturing hub proposal and um, how, how that will work or the intention behind it, uh, and then, you know, what the what the proposal uh, will involve in terms of the resources being requested. Uh, thank you, Congresswoman. And, and this is SBA's effort and uh, contribution in trying to expand the productive capacity in the United States. And uh, you know, we know that 75% of manufacturers are 20 and under employees. Uh, you know, still same. Uh, you know, over 90% small overall. Um, and so we want to make sure that we support them and and give them access uh, to, uh, especially government contracting. Uh, we are. Uh, focused this uh, initiative within the government contracting business development space because we want to make sure that uh, the government is buying uh, from Made in America. And so we are hoping to uh, expand uh, our outreach, our training, as well as technical assistance uh, to more manufacturers to engage in government contracting. Uh, but in addition, beyond that, we want to make sure that we're deploying resources to help more businesses interested in, in manufacturing uh, in the United States. Uh, you know, just recently I met with the small business owner uh, who uh, was, uh, you know, specifically wanting help in trying to manufacture her products uh, here in the United States as uh, she's having to deal with supply chain global issues uh, in, her, in her business currently. And so these are the types of businesses that we want to support uh, by giving them the technical assistance uh, around, uh, you know, manufacturing in the United States. Oh, thank you, and um, I'm sure our office will be in touch uh, as uh, that program uh, gets stood up and starts moving forward. There are a lot of smaller, that 75% of manufacturers uh, being under under 20 employees, there certainly are a lot in the, the Kansas third that uh, fit into that uh, criteria. I wanted to switch over really quickly to uh, the fraud risk management board that we've um, that we've heard a bit about. Uh, this morning, um, you know, I, I think getting the, getting those guardrails in place, uh, making sure that moving forward we're uh, addressing the uh, addressing and preventing fraud. Can you talk a little bit about um, what kind of structures are uh, being implemented through the board, and then kind of what they're replacing? We, uh, with the Fraud Risk Management Board, uh, I hoped to integrate a, a, a more holistic approach to fraud risk management so that all of our program offices would be engaged. Uh, all of them have a role in setting up programs and, and making sure that they design them with, with good controls. Uh, and so the, the membership of the Fraud Risk Management Board includes all my key program office leads as well as it's chaired by uh, my CFO. Uh, so that is a, an important um, addition. We want to make sure that uh, uh, that controls um, are guided by the organization uh, by the organizations that uh, that uh, you know that deliver our capital access programs, our disaster assistance programs, our government contracting and entrepreneurial development. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, as well as building a more collaborative effort across the agency, uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, the, the framework complied with the GAO standard. Uh, and and this uh, new fraud risk management board does that uh, and ensures that the uh, you know that we 
satisfy that requirement of the GAO. Uh, the, the structure itself, it'll report in through the Enterprise Risk Management Board that was established back in 2015 and reports directly to me. Uh, in addition, my special counsel for Enterprise Risk uh, will sit as an advisor on the Fraud Risk Management Board uh, to ensure that there's a constant tracking of their activities. Uh, and importantly, we embedded uh, fraud risk management into the performance of all the key members of the Fraud Risk Management Board, which I think also goes a long way to ensuring that uh, they know that the agency takes this seriously. Thank Time you. Expired. I yield back. Uh, the gentleman from New York, Mr.